A U.S. military designed to kill people and break things is becoming a kinder, gentler place when it comes to religion and gender equality. That's one way to look at it. The other way involves critics shaking their heads in dismay. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin looks at both sides of the debate over new standards for new times. It's a horrible idea. It's part of the fundamental transformation of the United States of America and the social re-engineering of our military. In an about face, the Pentagon loosened regulations requiring troops to be clean shaven. In a nod, supporters say, toward religious freedom. Now Muslims can wear beards, Sikhs can wear turbans, and Jews can wear yarmulkes if it doesn't interfere with good order and discipline. Where do you stop? Do Wiccans get to wear funny hats? Do Druids get to wear robes? My point being just that when you join the military, there are compromises, there are dispensations. So I am worried that this is just more of the politically correct assault on basic military values. The new regulations were imposed on the Pentagon by Congress, but follow other dramatic changes to the military in recent years, including the administration's decision to open combat roles to women and subsequently ease physical requirements. Women in the Marine Corps no longer have to do three pull-ups. If we continue on this road, women are going to suffer more injuries. They are also going to suffer resentment they do not deserve because the men will blame them for the double standards that will continue in, toward the infantry training or the lowering of standards. Critics like Donnelly say the president cares more about the military's social agenda than its war fighting mission. Former Secretary of Defense Bob Gates wrote in his memoir, quote, the only military matter apart from leaks about which I ever sensed deep passion on his part was don't ask, don't tell. For him, changing the law seemed to be the inevitable next step in the civil rights movement. First of all, it's not social engineering in the military. Um, the secretary believes uh, that the opportunity to serve your country in uniform should be as open to as many Americans as possible. The changes to the military culture and structure come at a time when it is being forced to slim down, in the case of the Army, by more than 100,000 troops. For context, Brett, there are only three Sikhs in the entire U.S. military. Some Republican lawmakers say the loosening of regulations are also designed to protect Christians. For example, the general who likes to keep a Bible on his desk. Brett? Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you. So what do you think of some of these new changes in Pentagon policy? Let me know at Facebook.com slash SR or on Twitter at Brett Bear. You can use the hashtag special report.